Today we'll be discussing the different options that you have for swings in Airsoft. Whether it's to make your gun more maneuverable and keep the weight off of your arms, or if it's just to add some extra comfort to your system, we'll be talking about options that are going to work not only for the AR style platform, but for other platforms such as SMGs, G36s, and rifles like that. What's up Airsofters, my name is Lane and welcome to the BB Warrior. We're here to help you have a better time both on and off the airsofting field. And why don't we start off with the first sling that I want to talk about today, the Magpul MS3 sling. The Magpul MS3 sling is a one to two point conversion sling. And while this isn't the most modern rendition of the Magpul swings, they do have the MS4 out now. They do share a lot of the same characteristics. So taking this off, we can talk about it a little bit. It is again, a one to two point conversion. So there is a hook on here, which you can remove. And then the other half of the swing comes off for you to attach this to the front end of your rifle to make it a two point swing. So you have the best of both worlds theoretically. However, something that I've noticed with this swing is that you can't have your cake and eat it too. So it'll either work fantastic as a one point swing or it'll work fantastic as a two point swing However, you can't make them work together in tangent. And what I mean by that is that when you go to take this off of the swing swivel here to put it on to the front of your rifle or your SMG, whatever, what happens is that it gets really, really tight and you don't really have any maneuverability with your gun. Even with a small gun like the MP5 SD here, it feels really constricted and I feel like I can't really move my rifle the way that I need to. I actually, when I have this extended out into a two point swing, I really can't get my stock more than a few inches in front of me, which isn't okay for when I have to renew, maneuver, excuse me, because when I have to reload, everything feels super tight and awkward. So while this does function as a great one point swing, I found that these conversions where they can go from a two point to a one point are great in theory. However, they don't work out very well. Now for the build quality of the Magpul MS3 sling um, and the MS4 that I've got my hands on, I just don't own one. I think that they're a little bit too thin. Um, these are only about a inch wide and they have zero padding on them. So I find that that's really, really uncomfortable after any long period of time. However, I am a fan of one point swings for CQB. And this has worked fantastically for those short, fast paced games that don't last over 20 minutes. And I found that wearing this for over 20 minutes, it really starts to put some weight on, excuse me, onto your neck. Because when you wear this as a one point swing, all the weight is up on your neck and your upper back. So I found that this can get a little bit uncomfortable if you're using this for a large amount of time. But now I want to talk about a swing that is a pure one point swing, the Elite Force swing. The Elite Force one point swing is a fantastic swing for those of you who are either getting into airsoft or you just want a cheap and affordable swing because you're not playing in any super long style of games. Now, like I said, the Elite Force swing is a pure one point. So the points meet up here to this triangle and then this goes up to the gun. It's a little bit hard to see because uh, black swing, black gun, but bear with me. So the nice thing about one point swings is again, their maneuverability in close quarters. You can easily switch to your offhand and return fire. That was a little bit sloppy, but you get the idea. So because of where it sits, because it sits right behind the trigger, you have a great access to be able to switch your firing position. And that can really come in handy in close quarters. Um, now there is one fundamental problem with one point swings, and that is when you go to draw out your handgun and you drop this, the way that they're designed, I don't know if you can see where it's about to fall, it's about to hit me between the legs because you can't see that off camera. However, that's something you don't want to happen and that's really going to mess up your shots with your handgun because you're going to be in pain down there. So that's one of the fundamental problems of a one point swing. I'll swing this around so you can see it. However, they do serve their purpose for a very close quarter situation. Um, now the nice thing about the Elite Force Swing that none of these have is this has a buckle right here for a quick detach. So if you just need to get your gun off the swing for some reason, if you're going back to the staging area, things like that. Um, the nice thing about dedicated one point swings is that a lot of people can hook them up through their plate carrier. So they put them like through the shoulder straps. So you don't have to worry about an extra set of straps on the back of your plate carrier or anything like that it's integrated into it and again because this is just so easy to um, switch from 
right-handed to left-handed or vice versa. These are fantastic for those of you who play more indoor or if you play with shorter guns. Um, because again, most of the weight is gonna be on your back. Playing with a smaller gun is gonna help because you're gonna be less weight there. So SMGs like this, something like the MP7, um, shorter AR style guns. These are fantastic options for those of you in a close quarters situation. I would like to mention about the Elite Force Swing is that this is the most affordable option on the list. These come in at $19.95 shipped from the Airsoft Armory. So if you think that this might be the right swing for you based off of your situations in Airsoft, I'll have a link down in the description below where you can check this out. And if you do buy it from the Airsoft Armory, it does help me out directly seeing as this is my personal store. So anything that you buy from the Airsoft Armory in the future is going to help me out directly and help improve the channel and my overall lifestyle. So again, if you guys would like to pick this up, link in the description below. Now we're gonna talk about the final sling I have today, the glorious VTAC sling. The VTAC sling is a two-point sling with a lot of comfort built into it. One of the greatest things about this, and the reason I bought it, is the thick padding here on the sling. This is about two inches wide and it's like memory foam or something, but the reason I actually went with this was a recommendation from a friend because I was always complaining about how uncomfortable my Magpul MS3 sling was. So this is a fantastically comfortable swing not only because of the padding but because two-point swings tend to be more comfortable because the weight is spread out across your upper and lower back until it reaches the front of the rifle now typically i have found that two-point swings work better on longer rifles so any ar that's going to be about 10 inch uh, 10 inch barrel or higher or any longer gun like that carbines essentially so how this is going to hook up um, when you buy it is it's just gonna have the nylon, which will go through an attachment like what you have on your stock. However, you can add things onto it, which I have done. I have, I'm not sure if you can see that, because again, black gun, um, I have an HK hook on here from Blue Force Gear, and I just have that attached with some 550 cord as a temporary solution. And you can add on things besides HK hooks like QD swivels, which I think I'm gonna do back here on my Crytac stock, is put on the quick detach so I can easily take this on and off my rifle. So the nice thing about two-point swings is again their comfort however they do have some disadvantages. Um, there is one thing that's really nice about the VTAC swing and that is that you can quickly and rapidly adjust the length of it. So the nice thing about this is that this has a little leather pull tab if you can see that here and that corresponds with a little lever back here on a piece of 550 cord. So how you're supposed to use this swing properly is they have it nice and tight to your body while you're doing patrols around the Mojave Desert or wherever you're operating. And then all that you need to do is when you go to fire at Russians or whoever you're shooting at, some other fucking speed softers, um, you're gonna pull on this piece of 550 cord and that gives you some additional length in here which gives you additional movement because now I have all the room in the world to BB operate and then you might be saying, well, what do I do after I'm done fighting or I need this close to my body? Take that pull tab we discussed, bring it forward, and it is nice and solid against your body. It's gonna ride a little bit more solidly when you're wearing body armor or a chest rig. I'm just wearing my cry field top at the moment, but you get the idea. Now, one of the biggest disadvantages of a two-point swing that people give me is that they don't like it. It's hard to switch offhand shooting. So because of the way that it's designed, because it's on the front and the rear of the rifle, you can't throw that over into your left hand, or your off hand, I should say, and it makes it hard to peek corners while shooting on your off hand. So I have started to find a way around that, um, so I'm gonna show you that real quick. So the way that I did that, I'll slow it down, is when you're aiming, take your support hand, take it out of the swing and back onto the front of the rifle. At that point, you have some additional room to move the stock to your off hand. You're gonna switch hands. So you have your right arm becoming your support hand, and then you're ready to fire. And while this isn't the most comfortable for any extended period of time, you can see my swing is uh, pretty, pretty uh, tangled up here. For the moment that you do have to shoot off-handed, this is comfortable enough and you still have full range of control for reloading and things like that. 
So the other complaint that I see from people, which I find isn't the largest issue, however, I should address it because I see it enough, is that some people don't like how using a two-point swing, the strap is in your way sometimes when you try to reload. And I have just kind of conditioned that out because the way that I reload my gun is I take it to about a 20 degree angle up and then a 45 degree angle to the side. So this completely clears um, the magazine well, as you can see on the camera. So I have no, no issue trying to hit that. Um, now, I mean, if you're like super high speed and you like to mag flip and throw your gun 90 degrees or higher, I can see where the issue is going to come out. However, really that's an issue that I don't feel exists for myself personally, just the way that I do my reloads. However, some people have mentioned it before, so I thought that it was worth mentioning in this video. That's gonna do it for my overview of some of the different types of swings, your one point, your two point, and then your one to two point conversions. There are hundreds of different swings out there that we haven't gotten to talk about in today's video. You have the Pharaoh Swickster, you have the Way of the Gun Sling, the Blue Forge Gear line of swings, um, some of the other models and Magpul slings. And I will be talking about those more in future videos. However, today I just wanted to give a sampling of the different styles of swings that you have available. Um, there also are three-point slings. However, those are outdated and just awful, so we're not going to talk about them at all. Do yourself a favor and don't buy a three-point sling. I want to know what you guys run for swing options. Make sure to let me know down in the comments below. I'd love to get some feedback and know what the community likes to run and if you disagree with some of the things I said in this video, make sure to let me know down in the comments below. I love it when we can dis get discussion because my videos and the way that I word and format them is just to start the discussion. And then I want to have and have you guys have, <laughs> that doesn't really make sense, but I want to see you guys have more of the conversation down in the comments below, talk about the things I may have missed. Whether you disagree or agree with me, as long as we can have the conversation, we can help move Airsoft in a better direction and everyone can have a better time while we play. If this was your first time here, I would love to have you subscribe for more Airsoft and content every Tuesday and Friday here on the channel. And while you're down there hitting that subscribe button, make sure to hit the bell icon next to it to get updates when we post new videos here on the channel every Tuesday and Friday. If you haven't already, make sure to check us out on social media. Links will be down in the description below. This has been Lane from the BB Warrior talking about the different options that you have for swings in Airsoft. And I'll see you all next time.